Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania 2. Um, Simon's Quest. We're in a little different place. For a couple reasons. I've, uh, I've just restarted the whole game, in fact. And I've been playing for like an hour, practicing, and just getting what I need. Oh god. Forgot why I came down here. Right. So I've actually hit the heart maximum. And I want to be able to go to Jova, I think. And use their stuff, get their things. I don't have the white crystal yet, as you can see. Uh, a casualty of resetting my game. Um, but I have what I think are enough hearts to survive the trip back to the first town. Oh yeah, I can check the time, can I? It says two. I think it's at four. The animation on that bird is like surprisingly really good. Oh boy. Okay, it's three now. Three ten. Three thirty one. I mean, it's kind of safe here. I might just hang out. But yeah, there are two things in this town that I need. Four thirty. One is the dagger. Um, you may remember the dagger from the first Castlevania. This is the first game where they attempted to buff it. Um, it does... Well... It's a weapon, you know. You can It can be used. It's not, like, a hateful, gross thing. All right, 540. 546. I believe it is at... 6? Yep. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. But the important thing that we're getting here is the chain whip, I believe. This is the wrong house. <gasps> hey, you can talk to NPCs now as well. Clues to Dracula's riddle are in the town of Alba. Thanks for nothing. So yeah, this is... I don't know why this is so depth, like deep, but like I guess it makes sense if he wants to hide himself. Purchase a chain whip. So... Yeah. You can see that the whip now does that. Pacha! It looks somewhat like it does in the original Castlevania as well. Um, and then one moment. Hey, I was at the right place, but as it happens... Okay, sorry, I'm just watching my audio. As it happens, um... You have to reset the area. Hey, Waldo. You've got a friend waiting for you in the town of Algeba. Thanks for nothing. Let's heal up here while we're here, at least. Alright, can't jump onto stairs in this game. That's only in other games. Rest here for a while. Thank you. So yeah, now we do more damage. Um... Uh, and yeah, we did need to go in here. Wait, we did, right? I don't know what the deal is, but the dagger's apparently optional, so... I guess I'll just play without it. It's not like I need it, as I mentioned. Um, it's a nice weapon to have, but it's certainly not necessary to beat the game. I think you can even get upgraded versions like the silver knife and dagger. All right, thanks for the damage boost. Oh my lord. He's got to come out swinging. So 
Simon Belmont's Pro Skater. Whenever I see someone do an implausibly long jump that would probably break their ankles, I think of Tony Hawk. See, so yeah, I still got the Castlevania jump physics. I don't know if they mess as well, mess, mesh rather, as well with this game, but they're here. Pardon me, sir. Avoiding enemies is such a thing in like modern Metroidvanias that like I really appreciate doing it in the past. I don't feel like I get to do it enough. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it there before time is up. Um, pardon me, sir. Yes, yeah, so you can see that we now can kill those werewolves in one whip. Hey, we did it, though. That's good. Buy a white crystal? Yes. And now we can actually go that way. There's no fast travel, of course. Those were all invented later. Um, I think the closest thing to fast travel is the Mario Brothers 3 warp whistle. For this era, at least. I really do like the animations Simon has on his whip. Look at that. It really feels good. I also like how he has a little standing up animation. There's a lot of good in this game, you know? And I do understand why people don't like it. But I do think everyone should give it a chance. People who like Castlevania should respect this game for the introduction of Bloody Tears. And for, um... It's... Wonderful use in-game. What a horrible night to have a curse, though. If I die, that's okay. I was kind of hoping to preserve these lives, since I do have some progress. I have no idea how you're supposed to come up from those stairs without getting hurt. Throw an axe, I guess. So one one thing that I actually still need to find. Oh yeah, turn right for Dobby's path, left for the Barrows Woods. So yeah, that area where we just were was the Varos Woods. That's the kind of world building you get on the NES. Yes, I think that people who enjoy games such as a Skyrim should play Castlevania II, Dracula's Simon's Curse. See, because Dracula's Curse is more important in this game than it is in Dracula's Curse. The game called that, that is. Oh god. Well, I'm dead. That's okay, though. Because I've got a life. Ooh, I like how the eyeball freaks out. Oh, brother. I love how when there's just too many projectiles on screen, the game just really disintegrates. Go. So you gotta edge yourself out to the edge of this block and then... There you go. Like that. Uh, pardon me, sir. So yeah, this is Dobby's path. Apparently a common Japanese name. Though all I can think of is the My Hero Academia character. Oh gosh. Yeah, we got the bats though. Yeah, like, compare Skyrim to this. There is a lot of crossover between the two. More than one would really think.
Oh, Lord, help me. I wonder if this is the first video game to trigger someone's arachnophobia. Probably not, right? Man, you gotta come out whipping. I don't know if this is the right way. But it feels as though I've gone in a circle. I haven't. Good. Um, I don't know where I'm going. Let me check my guide. One moment. Alright, I'm heading almost the right way. I was actually supposed to go... Not this way. We're heading to Algeba. Oh, the morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. That's good. Yes, yes, we know. Come on now. Now I've got one little pip in my hit points, so I'm probably not going to be able to ascend this staircase without getting... Ah, I couldn't turn around fast enough. Could start whipping, though. So yes, the stairs are an area you go to later. So this was... So I think one reason why this game was ever beaten at all by anyone was because, uh... Oh, gosh. I believe this was the second game to ever get a Nintendo Power issue. For those who don't know, Nintendo Power is the now-defunct uh, magazine, God Rested Soul. Go! <laughs> Alright. Um... Uh. Why is there no one in this? There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> you are just who I needed to see. I've got enough for three laurels. Will you buy some garlic? Okay, now I've got two laurels worth. See, so coming here with just a lot of money, like going anywhere with just a lot of money is kind of the way to be, but like because you can only hold so much money and it gets reset when you die. It's kind of just tough titties for you, you know? Alright, I think one of these guys will sell me laurels, since I believe the town I'm in is Algeba. Algeba. Hello. Dracula's eyeball reflects the curse. Now you might think... Oh, it shoots curses away from you. It deflects them. No, they mean reflect as in allows you to see them. Equipping Dracula... You can equip... You know, all sorts of things up here, as you can see. There we go. Sorry, just... Had some trubs there. Equipping Dracula's eyeball allows you to see certain things that you wouldn't be able to see otherwise. Buy some garlic. It has special powers. You gotta hop to make your jumps work. Like, I've got a little bit of life, and I don't think I have... any uh, lives after this, so if I die, I'll lose all my money. So I want to ensure that this does not happen. Buy some of my laurels? Yes. You are who I wanted to see. So now we have laurels. And now we're out of money, but that's fine. Because what we wanted was those. So I have four laurels and two garlic. So those are plot critical items. When used, they go away. The only way to get more is to buy more with hearts. So if you miss and don't have the ability to use another, you kind of just have to the dead river waits to be freed from the curse. 
I imagine most things do in this world, man. I'd like to exchange a white crystal for a blue one. So he's now upgraded our crystal to blue. What that actually does is not clear. Well, at this point, at least. Um, but one moment. Alright, check my guide. We're ready to go. Heading east first. We're going to use some of that fancy girl like we just picked up. But yes, um, I'll try to find a copy of the cover of this game's Nintendo Power issue. Will this kill me? No. Speedrun tactic. The towns all have very similar layouts, which is a little uh, weird. Right, I think it's here. There we go. I'll give you this silver knife to save your neck. So yes, this garlic here, for whatever reasons, summons this man. But now we have access to the knife. Or do we? I don't remember what that does. I thought you threw it like the normal knife. And it would make up for the fact that I didn't uh, buy it. Because I couldn't find the guy who sold it. But at any rate, that's fine. Hup. Hup. Now is when we go down those stairs. That's fine. I love when killing the spider, its web also just disappears. Like, there's no inertia whatsoever. Just like, I'm dead. Now everything that I've created is gone. <laughs> you know? Life before the internet. Anyway, so I've talked about the uh, box art for this game, as you can actually see over there. A horrible night to have a curse, though. Uh, box art for this game. The cover for Nintendo Power was even more interesting. Um, it featured a warrior, ostensibly Simon Belmont, but it doesn't really look like him. And I think it, I think the actor has a helmet on, holding uh, Dracula's decapitated, severed head. A pretty gnarly image, and one very transparently meant to get across that Castlevania is not for kids, yo. It's for cool teenagers who want to make their mom mad. But at the same time, you know, love Jesus and want to fight evil. Alright, another quick guide check. Pardon me, moi. So you can see down there, there are some blocks. I don't want to screw with those. <gasps> Whoops. So what one has to do here Equip that blue Chris. I have it equipped, yes. It's equipped, right? There we go. So yes, that one kind of makes sense, but I can see why that would confuse a lot of people. But like, yes, it allows you to walk underneath the false water because you have um, blue crystal. Crystals are magical. Water is blue. Makes sense, you know? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, but that's okay. Uh... But yeah, we're actually at the next mansion, so I'm kind of I'm going to I'm going to cut it here. This is a good place to stop. Good stopping point, you know. Um on day 2, almost on day 3. We are still running out of time, but that's okay. Uh, I've been off of this has been Castlevania 2. Uh, thank you for coming by, seeing this game. Um I'll see you all next time. Have a good day. <laughs>